Welcome to another Patty Stamps product review video tutorial. I am reviewing for you today the Stampin' Up! Dandy Garden Mega Suite. This is so big, it covers four pages in our brand new mini catalog for January to June 2021. This is Patty Bennett. I blog at pattystamps.com. If you need catalogs, you can always use the request form there on my site to request catalogs if you don't already have a demonstrator. So this mega suite is amazing, and we are going to look at all the products in this Dandy Garden suite. You'll find it on page 24, 25, 26, and 27. It's so big, it has two bundles. We have a bundle here with a die set and a bundle here with a dragonfly punch. So we are going to look at all of those as well as all of these products in the suite. And I have samples to show you and we're gonna make a project together. So let's get started. This is a quick overview of the beautiful paper in this suite. It is called Dandy Garden, and it is, let me just show you, it is a six by six package. So it's 48 sheets, and they're double-sided, and uh, lots of beautiful 24 different patterns. You can see them represented here. This is just a fun chart that my downline Christy made for me, and it shows you a representation of all of the different patterns. So you can see we have some really pretty dandelion and garden and dragonfly images, as well as the bee. And then several just kind of graphic prints that are great for backgrounds or all over. I'm going to show you how you can punch out the dragonflies on this page and just so many tips and samples with this paper. So as I mentioned, there are two bundles in this suite. So we have the Dragonfly Garden that has a stamp set and a punch. We're going to be working with the punch today. I'm going to show you some tips for stamping and coloring the dragonflies. And then there is also a stamp set and die set, Garden Wishes and Dandy Wishes. So there's the stamp set and the dies. And I made this little chart. I hope you'll find this helpful. This will show you exactly which images can be stamped and die cut and then which images are kind of are standalone type images. So we have this one, this dandelion image here, and we have this one that you can stamp and you can die cut. And then also this little bee right here is right up here. I stamped him and colored him and die cut him. And then I want you to see this cute little bit here. This is a die in the set, but it just has this cute little dashed bee trail. You could also use this if you were doing ladybugs or anything, the dragonflies, anything else that you wanted, maybe a little trail. I thought that was really fun. And then we have this stem. We have some extra dandelion um, leaf pieces. And then these three you can actually stack to make a really cute flower. It could be on top of the dandelion, it could be on top of this one, or you could just make it a standalone flower. You could use this stem with it and just cut that off. Lots of different things you could do with that. And then some pieces of grass. So that is this bundle. And I should mention, if you're not familiar with Stampin' Up! bundles, they are 10% off. So when you purchase together either the dies and the stamp set or the stamp set and coordinating punch, you do receive a 10% discount when you do that at the same time. So that's always kind of nice, a nice little extra savings there. Let's look at a couple other of the products in this suite. There are several. We're going to look at all of them. So we have on page 25 several of the little accessory items. Let's look at number six. That's the ladybug trinkets. And so you get 20 of these cute little ladybugs. And they are kind of a brass finish, but you can use your stamp and blends to color them and then you can use a glue dot to attach them 
we also have this beautiful braided linen trim and it is really pretty. Uh, actually, I just noticed it says these are antique gold. Okay, they can be antique gold. I would call them brass, but they can be either one. <laughs> this is Mossy Meadow Linen Trim. You may notice that we have had this in other colors in the catalogs. We've had red and we've had natural color. Now we have this beautiful green. It's very easy to use. It's soft to tie, and you can also fray it if you wish, and it will make a sort of a different look if you want to use it as a frayed element on your uh, project. So those are two of the extra items in this mega suite. Then let's look at number three. We looked at the two bundles. So let's look at number three. So this is called Dandy Laser Cut Paper. And I need to pull it out to show you because it's just really so pretty. So you have four of these card front panels that just pop right out and you can either use them as a stencil or you can put them right onto your project. There are some leaf kind of flowery leaf accessories there. And then underneath, you can see we have another panel and then some other items, including the dragonflies and the leaves and those round um, you could use that as a focal point. You could stamp in this or you could kind of build a wreath on that. They're very delicate and I, I like that they come with the um, paper, the tissue paper in between there so that they don't get hung up on each other. Okay, so that is this, number three, the Dandy Laser Cut Paper. We also have a Memories and More pack. I've already opened mine but it's got really nice patterns that you can use for a quick card front, a little note as a background. They're pre-printed as are all of the Memories and More cards. So you get several of the three by four. There are some die cut stickers that you can use. Look how cute, even some fun words and some strips that you can use. So two of those, two of those, and then you have your four by six cards as well. So if you wanted to, for instance, on this one, if you wanted to make a large um, card, you could use this pack. I just covered it up though, so let me show you. It's number five and it is the Dandy Garden Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. So it's a printed card front as well as a printed envelope, and it's beautiful, and it's meant to accommodate the four by six size. So if you wanted to make a card with this on top and stamp a greeting, maybe add a dragonfly to it, you're done. It's very quick and easy. So those kind of work hand in hand. These two products can go very well together. And did we cover it? We looked at the paper. I'll just bring that chart back in one more time. So these are the 24 patterns and they are beautiful. Really lovely. So fun to work with. The colors are great. They're really, really nice. So let's make a couple of cards so that I can show you these great products in action. Show you some samples and ideas. So let's look at the bundle that has the Dragonfly Punch. So Dragonfly Garden Stamp Set, and there are two large dragonflies that will punch out with this punch. You can also punch out designer paper. So I wanted to show you that. So on this piece of designer paper, you can see I've used it right here on this card, and these will punch out with this dragonfly punch. Something to be aware of is if you put your paper into the punch, you can see that this little dragonfly is going to punch out kind of nothing. It That doesn't line up with an image. So what I do recommend is that you would grab your paper snips and cut out around and I'll show you why I'm cutting around I don't want to cut through this one because we can actually hang on I need to 
clear out a little more space, we can actually cut that one out, punch that one out with our punch. Sorry, I just have to look kind of straight down on it. But that one will punch out with the punch. So you want to kind of look around this piece of designer paper and take a look so that you can trim around and punch out as many of the dragonflies as you can without wasting anything. So now we have this one and we want to punch it, but it's kind of hard to get that in there and control it. So if you haven't seen this trick before, I'm just grabbing a post-it note. This is what I like to do. I like to take a post-it note and tack it on to my piece of designer paper. And then I can easily insert that into my punch. You've probably seen this tip, but maybe not everybody has. So I like to share that tip when I can and just show you that that would be how you could punch out an image that's on a smaller piece. So I have just applied, in fact, it's this exact one, right here onto that card. I did add dimensionals behind it, and I used my Wink of Stella to just brush over those wings because I think that that's probably what dragonfly wings look like. They probably have a little shimmer and shine to them. So that is an idea with the paper, designer paper, dragonfly piece punched out and added to a card. You can see that I have used this image two times behind this focal point, stamped my greeting from this set right onto a die cut label, and then added this strip and this background piece. I did want to call your attention to something. This is something that I shared with my team recently. And that is to look at how amazing Smoky Slate, Sahara Sand, and Gray Granite coordinate with this stack of paper. You can see how the Smoky Slate looks great with the blues, the Sahara Sand looks really great with the greens, and the Gray Granite looks really great with the raspberry. And it was something that I tried to use and to kind of concentrate on when I was making these cards. Normally, I would have grabbed Whisper White to stamp on, maybe vanilla, but I loved using these three neutrals on these cards that I'm going to show you. So this is my Sahara Sand piece, and you, you can see that it really almost looks green. It picks up those greens. And then I used Smoky Slate for my card base. And I really liked how that turned out. I think that's really a fun compliment. Here's another example of punching out two of the dragonflies from the paper. And I've also used, you can see here, the coordinating. I went with the yellow and green. So I used that on this card. Just a, a little fun fold. So that's another idea using the paper that's just punched right out with the dragonfly punch. But then, since we do have the stamps to work with, let's look at a couple examples of actually stamping the dragonflies and then coloring them. So here's a sample with that. I actually prefer this image. And so this is the one I've been using. The Basically, the difference is this body is filled in and this one is not. But of course, you can totally easily color this body in. They do have a slightly different pattern on the wings, but I just happen to like the dark solid body. So that's the stamp I've been using the most, <laughs> but it, you know, it's, it's whatever you would like to do. So this one I mixed and matched. So you remember we looked at the garden wishes set and I used this dandelion image here and I stamped it in the background and then I just added some designer paper and the two colored dragonflies. So I'm going to show you in a minute how I colored those dragonflies. Here is another example, and I think I had the measurements. 
Yes, th these cards, this is a fun fold. Four and a quarter by 11, you score it in half at five and a half, but then you cut three inches off, and then you use that extra piece to turn sideways on the card front. And then your designer paper is two and three quarters by four. And I really liked that. I think this turned out um, really fun. And then the smaller one is two and a quarter by four right here. So that's a fun fold and another idea with stamping and coloring your dragonfly. Actually, wait, you know what? On this one, I used this piece. So this little stamp, actually, you can stamp it this direction and flip it over and stamp it that direction, and it fills in the wings. So that's kind of a fun uh, tip for you. Here's another one with the same fold but this is the punched out designer paper and done in blues and another similar one with the green and punched out paper. So let's go back to the samples that I stamped and colored. So here's another one and I just pulled out some of the colors in the designer paper to color in that dragonfly. So we're going to do that. I'm going to show you what I did. There's another one kind of mimicking those colors. I think it's so pretty. Do you love this? I love these colors. They're all just so rich and lovely. Really nice, really nice to work with. So let me show you what I did and we'll make a card. I have my parts ready here. So on this one, I wanted to do this basic design where we stamp in the background. And I grabbed the same stamp and the garden green ink pad. I'm going to stamp it twice. So once kind of at the edge of where the designer paper is going to go. And then one more time, but a little bit down and a little bit tilted so that it doesn't look like two of the same thing right next to each other. I thought that was kind of a, a nice design. And then we will use our seal to attach a strip. And it doesn't matter what size this strip is. I think that I was cutting... I think they were one and a half, one and three quarters. Well, it was a, a scrap strip and really you can use any size. If you wanted to cut it in two inch increments, then you would be using um, the six inch paper without any waste. You could do one and a half inches. You could do one inch. You can do really whatever you'd like. So there's our background. And then I stamped wishing you all the best. And it's in the Garden Wishes. So I used that image with the Razzleberry ink on a die cut. I believe this is Ornate Frames, I think. Pretty sure that is in that one. And I put it across there. And then I have pre-stamped a Razzleberry and a Garden Green Dragonfly. And I just wanted to show you what I did to color it in. And then we'll punch it out. So I grabbed some Stampin' Blends and I used colors that I found in the paper. And I know this might look like sort of an odd assortment of colors, but I was just pulling it from the paper and I really think that they turned out pretty. So I'm going to use, I'm pretty sure this is Razzleberry, yep. So Razzleberry ink, Razzleberry Stampin' Blends, and I'm going to do some ink here. And then I used, on this one, I did the yellow. So I used saffron. And where those colors met, they almost gave a, a pretty orange effect. Isn't that neat how they just sort of blended together? And then I just thought, well, I'm going to get the dark razzleberry and just do a little bit of extra right along here where it would probably be darkest next to the body. That was it for that one, except 
for the Wink of Stella. And then when you put that on, can you see how pretty this Wink of Stella is making those wings? Oh my goodness, it's so, so, so pretty. So pretty. And then for this green one, now you may think, oh, uh oh, she can't color on green because it's going to bleed. But actually, it doesn't. Um, I don't know, kind of magical. But I used the saffron for yellow. And then I used my light Calypso Coral and just added a little color here like that. And I think we'll just blend a little bit right there where those colors meet. And of course, Wink of Stella, because I don't know, don't you think dragonfly wings would be kind of glimmer, glimmery, glisteny? I think so. So that was it for those dragonflies. And then we will punch, sorry, just turning it towards me so I can see it. Line it up and punch. And then we'll do this one right here. And you could save these and actually just maybe sponge those or color those if you wanted to use those on a project. And then I'm going to put my dimensionals, just two of them on each dragonfly and add it to the card and that will be done. It's really fun to play with the patterns on this paper and kind of look at the colors and think about what colors you might want to use. I think right there, isn't that, oh, I love that. I think that turned out really pretty. And look how all of that ties in, all of those colors just work together and tie in together. And there's one with just the one dragonfly. And again, this one with the blues instead of the greens, stamping blue in the background. But again, using the Smoky Slate, Sahara Sand, and Gray Granite as your background colors, I just really think is so pretty. I think this is really something fun to play around with instead of always grabbing Whisper White because that's what I tend to grab. One last sample I just want to show you. This is that beautiful Memories and More card and envelope. And I used some of the Celebration Oso oh Ombre paper, stamped the dandelion image and die cut it along with the B and just made a little focal point there on that card. I hope you really enjoyed all of these dandy garden ideas and all of these beautiful colors, the tips, the product review. I hope that you will visit me at pattystamps.com to see more. And let me know if you have questions or if you need to work with a demonstrator. I'd be happy to help you. Thank you. See you next time.